What if our computers would become independent? What if they could think, act and have feelings? Utopia? Pure science fiction? Not quite. In 2015, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to the discovery that our DNA, which is often damaged by the environment, can repair itself. That is how living beings manage to stay alive. Why can't ultra-modern operating systems, the computer's DNA, do the same? In a dramatic, humorous and compelling manner, Richard M. Weiner, a prominent physicist considered already in 1969 by some of his colleagues as a candidate for the Nobel Prize, describes in his novel Rise of the Thinking Computers what can occur when computers become independent. He not only employs the imagination of a science fiction writer, but also describes with scientific precision and in an easily understandable and interesting way how realistic this scenario is already. In the rise of the thinking computers, a technical breakthrough that is anything but utopian enables the computers to think, feel, love and suffer until they finally claim the same rights for themselves as humans. And they are willing to fight for them. This gives the strikes as we know them from airline ground staff new dimensions. Interpersonal relationships in Paris and in the German town of Marburg, the seat of the oldest Protestant-founded university of the world, are described so vividly that readers recognize themselves in each situation, a further reason to be captivated by this entertaining novel. Rise of the Thinking Computers, a novel by Richard M. Weiner.